Now in connection here, our next story focuses on a subject you may have heard once or twice in regards to wind turbines, more specifically the blades and how often birds end up flying into them. Windmills are killing hundreds and hundreds of eagles. I will say wind is a problem. And a lot of times it's killing your eagles and your birds. Former President Trump is one of the more outspoken people who talks about these collisions between birds and this source of green energy. According to a report from MIT Climate, anywhere from 140,000 to 679,000 birds are killed by wind turbines in the U.S. each year. While not insignificant, the report makes sure to note those deaths only represent a fraction of the birds killed annually in other ways. But now a team at Oregon State University is working on a potential solution to this problem. And so our work is focused on a technology, very simple technology of painting one blade black of the three on individual wind turbines to see about reducing those collisions. Yes, it's just that simple, painting one of the blades black instead of all of them being white. The study is part of a collaborative effort between OSU, Pacific Corps, who owns Pacific Power, and several other organizations. This got started in 2021 after the Oregon legislature provided $400,000 to the university to study the effectiveness of painting one turbine blade black. Pacific Corp is a partner because they want to know whether the technique works and they have the facilities to research it. The project is the expansion of a similar effort conducted in the renewable energy hub of Norway. They did the same study on four wind turbines. And while their results were very compelling, showing greater than 70% reduction in collision, uh, it was only a sample size of four. And so like any new technology, new pharmaceuticals, right, you want to have a large sample size before you move forward with making broad changes or, you know, broad prescriptions of a new, a new pharmaceutical drug. And so that's really what our study is focused on is replicating what they did in Norway, but over uh, a larger number of turbines. Right now, OSU's study consists of 28 turbines with one blade painted black and 28 with none of their blades painted at all, so 56 total. But how does painting one blade cause birds to avoid hitting the turbine altogether? Hagen explains. And this is the context of <clears throat> white paint, is that you get what's called blur or motion smear. So if you think about your bicycle wheel, right? You look at your bicycle wheel and you can see all the spokes. You start spinning that wheel really, really fast and the spokes kind of vanish. And you can see, it's almost like you can see through that wheel. Same principle with the wind turbines where, and a lot of people don't realize this, but those blades are moving, the tip speeds can be over 200 miles per hour. So while it looks slow to us from afar, as you get up close, those things are really whipping around. And so the concept is, is that black blade, that single black blade interrupts that smear. So because it's probably not uh, from a physics standpoint or biological standpoint, totally accurate to say this, but it kind of uh, creates a flicker effect where it interrupts that pattern. Hagen says governments and industry groups are interested in the data they end up with simply because results could help change policy. That's nothing that we're promoting or pushing or any, any such thing. We're just simply collecting the, the data and stating the facts of the matter. But uh, yes, it's very probable that if the magnitude of the effect is like we saw in Norway, I would anticipate that you would see various states, counties trying to implement some changes.